Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. So I have just some really interesting things to share in the fact that I, I have been operating as a life insurance agent and being really commi committed to being able to, okay, let's scratch all of this. So this is where I want to go with it. My, my statement to all of you life insurance agents out there, I have to say to you, I've had the most revelating experience in watching another video. Actually, I feel this is a very spiritual led conversation right now. Um, and I'm going to put this out there. Um, first off, I am definitely a Christian and very much believe in God, Lord Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. I was brought up Catholic, don't practice Catholicism, but definitely have, um, I've always had a calling that I felt like that was led through, 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 you know, God, Lord Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. So anyway, with that being said, I have been having the most amazing experience this past week. Absolutely incredible. And I feel like I'm supposed to announce to the degree of the experience that I've had happen to me. And I know I'm kind of talking in circles right now. So it kind of, you know, you can't, sometimes you just can't like blurt out what you want to say. <laughs> you have to like ease everybody into getting them to kind of brace yourself or be in a position to eat, right? You know, when you sit down at dinner, sometimes it's the preparation of making the dinner or setting the table and then sitting down to enjoy what you're going to take in your body, right? And so this is kind of maybe the, um, that's metaphorically what came to me at this point in time that I was getting ready to communicate what I want to communicate. So interesting, this, I, I could literally, I've been very weepy and cry, you know, crying, but not in sadness. It has been almost like a release of, um, just, uh, releasing of any, um, anxiousness, anxiety, things of that nature. Just very powerful. Just very, very, very powerful. But whether you're a life insurance agent, because this is really what I want to communicate to you. And then I also want to communicate to, to the consumer, to you as a person, to you as an individual, because even myself as being as a consumer of life insurance, Oh my gosh, I, you all, I have, my background is real estate and lending and I was super, super, super successful. And definitely that was heart led and, and, and driven in the focus of being of service, right? And switching gears and going into the life insurance arena since 2019, it has been a very interesting journey on a, um, angst level just, just, just stressful, like, and, and it all came clear to me as to why. And it was because what I was shown, oh my gosh. Okay. So here we go. All right. Let's, let's have the feast. All right. So I had been delving deep into the journey here at what's happened in the past two weeks. Is just amazing. Okay. So first off, I got introduced to Katie Souza. If you don't know who she is, there'll be a link for her. Absolutely dynamic. And I'm going to put it in the order that things kind of came into fruition. So the Katie Souza um, one that came through was just talking about dark times. And that was shared by a really dear friend of mine over in, in the United Kingdom. And I watched that on my journey over here at Des Moines, Iowa. Um, while I'm here to help out a, a family, you know, friend of mine, well, family and friend, she's very dear to my heart. And, um, and that was guided too, by the way. So long and short of it, I'm on my journey here and from Florida get to hear the, the one, the Katie Sosa and several other ones, but the first one that resonated was just, wow. And then there was another one that popped in and it was talking about, witchcraft and your cash. So that in itself was intriguing. And I always feel like that things get guided to me 
and they're more of an amplified. They're more vibrancy and color. And it's almost like God's saying, I want you to watch this one. So I watched that one. And everything, everything that was spoken of in there with Kenan Bridges and Miss Katie Souza completely resonated. And I get emotional about that too. It was really, really powerful because I have felt something was suppressing. Something was like put a veil over me and you know and, and when we're not successful in things and we we actually condemn ourselves and that's what the devil wants us to do he wants us to feel unworthy he wants us to have those negative thoughts about ourselves and comparing ourselves to others that's the work of the devil i'm just telling you that and it just is but but the journey that has led to the next thing was well then i'm downloading the the Bible version that Katie Souza is constantly referring to. And I was completely, um, it, it, it was something that when things get filed in the file cabinet and it was, you know, up here, it was something that was like, take note. And so then I did, and then I downloaded that and I was able, and it's really your Bible.com and then you download it onto your phone, but you can put, it's called the amplified version. And, uh, wow. I mean, it, it's really puts things in kind of in today's layman's terms. So you don't have to deal with trying to interpret and feeling like you might be. And I get that God talks to us through the Bible, but these are so much more prevalent and definitely speaking to me, definitely speaking to me, but okay. So that unfolded. All right. So I did that. And then each day I was guided to look up, a word and, and a word was one was money. And so then I looked, Oh, and actually I was guided to buy the book miracles, um, from Ken and Bridges that was featured at the back end of that, at the tail end of the, the, the witchcraft and having a hold on your cash. <laughs> like I said, that, that, that video is, and I'll put a link in that one too. But Ken and Bridges, this book was featured on there. I immediately was guided to buy that book, even though they didn't really get to highlight it in the way that they had wanted to. You, when you know, you know. And so you, so I bought it. I, I just knew that that was a book that I needed to get. And wow, 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 wow. I read that book all in one day. I mean, I got it the very next day. It was delivered through Amazon Prime. And in that, in that whole situation um, and getting that book and then having the ability to read those prayers. And I've been doing it and I read the book in one day and then I go back and now I'm reading a chapter a day and they're only 15, 20 minute reads. And, um, and then the prayer, whatever I'm guided to, to read, I, I state them out loud and I'm looking up and, you know, because that's where God is. Lord Jesus is and our Holy Spirit's within. Right. But, it's, it's, uh, act, the activation of it is just so incredible, at least for me. I just, I feel like saying it three times out loud just has had a lot, of, has a lot of dynamics in it. Okay. So here I continue with this journey. Okay. And I really should have this timeline and I might redo this video, but anyway, so then I'm guided to do these Bible verse searches, right? And the first one that I did was money and I read things on that and, and Ken and Bridges, Dr. Ken and Bridges and uh, the future guests that Katie says I had on, he, he was right. I mean, there, I don't know to exactly the amount of that he had mentioned, but there is so many, there are so many references to money and it really is about us being, have access to the resources so we can be a service to God, right? All right, so now flash forward. Okay, the next day, I'm I'm guided to look up the word. Um, it was uh, work. Okay, working, and and it, and there it lies like sowing seeds and things of that nature and all these different verses. And those were really powerful. Well, the next day, I was guided to write the word complacency because my question was, "Am I complacent? Like, what can I see within that would show that I'm complacent?" And there was a verse, and it was um, Isaiah 32, that got pulled in. I have, I'm recording right now. So, oh, actually, I pull it up on my computer. 
So let me do that. Um, boom, 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 boom. Okay, complacency. Well, I'm just going to go to Isaiah 32. Okay. Isaiah 32, 10, and this is, this is quoting it from the Amplified Version. Okay. It says, in little more than a year, you will be shaken with anxiety. You careless and complacent women for vintage would fail and in gathering will not come. Well, obviously if you're not sowing your seeds or you're not doing the work, you know, the, the discipline and the consistency of what needs of the, of the toiling that we need to do on a day-to-day -day basis, you're not going to have the fruit, right? You're not going to have you're not going to have the benefit of what's going on now. But the thing that was probably most prevalent was that I was guided to read the whole Isaiah 32, not just the one verse, verse 10. And uh, now I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. I had another amplified and I got I like the word and it suits with what's going on with what I get fed through me through YouTube um, there was an amplified highlighting of a video that was on the right hand side and it was bashing index universal life so this is where the uh, index universal life comes in now I want you to understand that I was actually asking myself why have all of these illustrations you guys have done probably easily over a hundred over the course of the years if not more and uh I'm very thorough. I'm very thorough. But but in the video, which I'm going to reference that in there, how he taught this gentleman talked about that it's all it's 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 BS. It's it the, it was designed to pay out or to not pay out because there's these hidden levers behind the scenes that that then then refer to the fact that the IOLs are not actually in the best interest of the client, right? And um, I'm like, what? And I watched that and I rewatched it. And then I watched the next video and I was like, oh my gosh. And he's even talking about the interview he had with, not an interview, where he had an opportunity to sit with an actuary. And I know which carrier he was talking about, but it doesn't matter because they're all doing it. They're all playing the same freaking game. And I'm going to be honest with you. I was devastated. It was a, literally a tragedy for me to hear what I was hearing, but also know it was truth. Absolutely crazy to me. So, so then of course I'm depressed. I'm down. Then there lies the word complacency. Cause I'm like, I'm really big on this thing with with living benefits. I really am because you guys have witnessed what I witnessed in my real estate career with my own real, my own real estate clients, and and I felt like that was a solution. I mean, I was led, I'm led to do this industry. I know I'm supposed to be doing this industry to help protect families. I you know I was I, I had this slogan that I was a realtor, I was the agent that made it happen, got it done to get my clients under their homes. And you can look me up. Go look me up. Go look me up in the Phoenix market. You're going to understand that I poured my heart and soul into my career and was being 100% of service to my clients. And um, and then being guided to move into this industry. And that is because now I'm to be the agent to help families keep their homes, keep their dignity, keep their lifestyle, keep their assets. And, and through the tool of this living benefits, you know, writer attached to life insurance policies. So I know without a doubt that I'm supposed to, to be doing this industry, but could not understand why, because I wasn't in a position to hear or to listen or to know what I needed to know to do it the right way. Okay. So now I'm, I know I'm kind of like all over the place, but we're getting back to now I'm looking at this word complacency because I'm completely like, what am I supposed to do? I, I thought I was supposed to be doing the, this work being of service and doing it through this mechanism and 
And then I just felt like everything that I thought I knew completely got disrupted, right? So I'm working, looking at the word complacency. And this is so powerful. And I'm going to, oh, I don't, I'm going to try to figure out how to share the screen. But I was guided to then read the whole um, Isaiah 32. And it was just amazing to me. So if you're watching videos that then to completely destroy what you're, what you felt like you thought you knew about instruments and tools to be the benefit of the, of the people that you want to take care of families to impact. And then you read this. Let me read this to you. This is verse seven of Isaiah 32. And I'm going to, again, I'm going to reiterate, I was not guided to go above the, you know, read the whole thing, even though it's good to do that, but I was guided to do that on the word complacency. And this was God speaking to me. The instruments and methods of the fraudulent and greedy for gain are evil. He devises wicked devices to ruin the poor and the lowly with lying words, even when the plea of the needy is just and right. You all, I highlighted that in bright yellow because I was like, oh my God, God is telling me that that, what, what I was looking at and how I was taught was evil, was wicked. And it was devised to basically benefit making sure that they had the ability to pay the whole life dividends and that the, that these other, other tools and devices were designed to not pay out consistently that nine times out of 10, they would not. And it was based on how we were taught to sell them and which, which was wrong. It was absolutely wrong. Oh, it's so crazy. So then the next morning, there's another amplified video, same channel, <laughs> And it was showing how to sell them, you know, because there was a young gentleman that got on there and said, look, I want to challenge you because there is a way to sell these products in the right way and protect the families. Right. And I was so intrigued. I'm like, okay, thank you, God, because I was like, literally, what am I going to do? And literally, oh my God, major game changer. I was able to see the value in that product see it in a different way, complete paradigm shift and knowing what to look for. And I just was like, wow. And ensuring that the guarantees are there. So ensuring that the guarantees are there for the length of the coverage and even giving some of these, I was able to find product that have, we're talking guarantees. I was dealing with clients that were at basically the same age as me, like 50, late, you know, mid to late fifties, um, even another one that's in their early sixties. And seeing the ability that I have that I could put a guarantee in place to age 100 and then not be in whole life and also giving the opportunity for a return of premium um, and giving the opportunity for the living benefits and giving um, and then being able to do that the next day with a completely different carrier. But then finding finding that solution and giving that where they can get all of their return of premium um, and also getting them completely um coverage guaranteed coverage to age 90 you guys that's amazing to me where all these other carriers and products are just pushing 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 and there's this misguided and i'm not blaming anybody except who taught us to focus on those three right columns that to me is just crazy it's bs it's and that's probably why i you know, it's not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed. And I'm just like, wow, I, I don't know. I just feel very blessed. I feel excited to one, to be able to share God's word and then share my journey and how I, um, had the, all of these epiphanies. And I could just, you guys, I was so like elated that I could still do his work and be able to be of service and protect families on, on a whole different level and not making it on non-guaranteed situations because those are wishes. There you go. The methods, the instruments and methods, verse seven, Isaiah 32. I'm going to repeat it again. You guys, it's just amazing and very powerful. The instruments and methods of the fraudulent and greedy. And 
with the amplified version, I love the fact that, that it puts it on the right hand side for gain, meaning like that's what's in, in like quotes, so to speak, are evil. He devises lowercase, he devises wicked devices to ruin the poor and the lowly with lying words. How sad is it that you we put all that money in? I mean, I, I bought that policy. I bought those policies. I sold them to my kids. Even when the plea of the needy is just and right. Shame, shame, shame. I, I'm just, anyway, if you want to know more information, life insurance agents, reach out to me. Um, and, um, consumers, if you want to know how to be, how to be protected, reach out to me. I am, I am licensed in multiple States. And if I'm not, I can be in your state. So just reach out to me and I'll have my contact information below. So how you can do that. But I don't know, praise God. I mean, I love that I was able to have this amazing experience these past several weeks and everything that happened and how everything led me up to now I know that I'm on the right path and I'm doing the work of God and being able to um, not only do the work of God, but actually praise him and praise the word. I mean, just how amazing is that? This is not, this is not the normal Michelle. I have not, I don't know, you know, is this what's defined as born again? I don't know. And I'm not a Bible thumper. I've just, matter of fact, anybody that's ever, you know, quoted from the Bible or, and there's a way to do it, I guess, but not um, worth damnation and anything like that. But I don't know. You tell, I mean, I just think it's amazing. It's absolutely incredible because I definitely know that that was the Holy Spirit talking through me and, and guiding me and bringing me to do the revelations of what I needed to hear in order to put me on the right path. And I just praise God. I just praise God. It's just amazing. Anyway, I hope you have a blessed day and I look forward to connecting with you and you know, looking forward to your comments as well. All right. Take care and God bless.